Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games, where our board game playthroughs are always unpaid and ad-free. I'm your host, Francis. And I'm Anthony. And today we're going to be taking you through Polis. So Polis is an area control game, a reprint, actually, mm -hmm. of a game of the same name from 2012, uh, designed by Fran Diaz and published by DeVere Games. Mm -hmm. This is going to play in about 60 to 120 minutes, and it is for two, and only two players. All right, so join us at the table, and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to, to Greece. Greece. The Circa five, five century. <laughs> fifth century BCE. Correct. Uh, so we are here to show you how we play Polis. Mm -hmm. And uh, Polis is an interesting game. Uh, as Francis said, it's a two-player game. And it is essentially two factions within Greece in the fifth century. It's a fight for he hegemony. For the hegemony. <laughs> and we're just battling it out um, while trying to main maintain a balanced... Uh, economy, right, and workforce and army, right, really, and yeah. so it's, it's just this huge balancing game um, that we're going to be uh, playing over the course of three rounds or three like eras, if hopefully you will. We'll yeah, make it it, hopefully we'll rounds. make it. Um, all in a fight to to be the one with the most prestige at the end of the game. So uh, if you take a look at the table, here is the map mm -hmm. of Greece that we'll be yes. controlling. Um, and each of us starts uh, with our faction preset with a number of uh, troops, uh, boats, and um, and specific polises, and so in this game, a polis, polis. a pole, or poles, is is like a, I guess you'd call it, it's like a city. One polis, two poles. Two poles. So, <laughs> well, a polis is is like a city. Yes. In in sort of a state, right? And in the beginning, so I'm be, I'm going to be playing the red player, which mm -hmm. is Sparta. Yes. Right, and you're playing blue. Yep. Who is the Athenian player? The Athenian yeah. player. So that they represent Athens. So if if you've played. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you know exactly <laughs> what we're talking about because it uses the same color scheme. And all the places. In all the same places. And so the um, <laughs> so the way we have it set up, you have uh, we each have a certain amount of uh, polis, poles, mm -hmm. uh, and, and territories that we control. So I'll go over what we do, what we have to start with. Mm -hmm. We'll go over the setup real quick. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll jump right into play because this is a, it's pretty meaty, this game. Yeah. Um, here we have sort of our market centers, right? There's one for, for the Spartans, there's one for Athenians, and we each start with one merchant. And those merchants are going to be able to trade in any one of these five uh, foreign markets uh, around the board. Uh, you'll, you'll have to travel these trade routes and make sure that they're not through contested waters, otherwise you've got to pay some, some, some taxes or some, some yes. tolls to get through. Um, but we'll go through that, obviously, when we take the actions. Um, we each start with this uh, prox Proxima, Proxima, and they're more like your politician mm -hmm. that you can send out across yeah. the land to bribe the local polis in your region to... Or instigate civil instigate war. Instigate civil war to basically take <laughs> them to your side. So you're basically paying for that. Uh, we'll show how that works. Um, I, as the Spartan, start with three pole, uh, Sparty... Githian and Pilos, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I control Lacadamon, which is my capital where Spartan is. Um, and I have three hoplites. So the, these little cubes on the board, on the land, mm -hmm. are called hoplites. They're your troops. Um, I also have, you know, Messenia. I control it. I just don't have any troops on the board. Uh, we also start with, as, as far as the Spartans go, uh, two... Uh, ships. Mm -hmm. So these are Our called galleys. Uh, galleys. Yeah. So we have two galleys out here, and the way the sea, just so you understand this map, it's a little. Yeah. At first, <laughs> it's, it's very confusing. <laughs> yeah. uh, but if you see these white lines, right? These white lines I, uh, um, define sea, different seas that you will control. So right now, I start with the Mirtun Pelagos. I've got two galleys here. They control this water. Mm -hmm. So I could put them anywhere I want to here. It doesn't matter. These dotted lines, like I said before, are the trade routes. Right. So if I have ships in here, this area is under my control. All right. right. Um, I also have one galley in the Ionian Pelagos, and that is this whole mm -hmm. side, basically, yeah. of the board, that ocean. So right. um, awesome. that's it for me. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Got? So I am the Athenian player, as Anthony said. So I'm going to start in the state of Attica. Um, I have Poles Athene and Chalkis over here. Um, with three hoplites starting in Attica. 
over over the pond. Yes. <laughs> um, I also control Chios at the moment with two hoplites in the state of Ionia. And I have two galleys in Kiklides and two, or I'm sorry, one in uh, Notis Sporades. Okay. So that's it for the setup for your troops, right? That's the, the basic start. Um, we each start with the same resources with the exception of two. Right. Um, the top is our prestige points, and we start with two each. We have three iron, three wood, three wine each. Mm -hmm. I have three silver. So Spartan yes. starts with three silver. Athens starts with zero. Spartan starts with zero wheat. Athens starts with three wheat. That's right. the only difference. Um, on the left here... Uh, represents the different poles mm -hmm. that you can control and when you do a um, collect tribute, tribute yeah. we'll explain how that works okay. um, it, it'll make sense up top is the market and the, and the trade rate for uh, wheat to other materials because wheat in this game is very important because after every round you're gonna have to feed your population yes um, and wheat is very rare. It's very <laughs> rare. It's tough to get. So down here, yep, we have three projects available. What do we have out? Uh, let's see. So these are projects that we can build um, in certain poles. We have Ephibos, um, and he can be built in certain areas. He's a statue. We have Zeus, and we it's have like a temple Isthma. of Zeus. Yeah, Isthmia. Yeah. So these are like yeah. statues, temples. There's like. Um, uh, I don't know if uh, like like sporting events and things like yeah, that too. Like so event. the way that these projects work again, are they're kind of like things that we can pay for using our resources. We can build them only if we control that uh, polis mm -hmm. uh, and the poli the polis that are um, that are associated with these. That, that has the, that you can get, there. has the capability to yeah. actually house that that yep. um, that project. So yeah. I can uh, like on my spar. So over here we have three cards, and these cards every time you take control of a sparty, mm -hmm. I mean of uh, a polis. Yeah. Um, you get a card, and that represents the polis itself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as I said, I control Sparty, Githion, and Pilos. Um, the cubes on the cards for the polis represent the population within the polis. So whenever you have to build troops, you're going to bring them from your population onto the board, and they'll be hoplites. Yeah, exactly. Um, good thing to note, and strategy-wise, and I'll tell you this now because it'll make sense while we play, is that at the end of the round, we only have to feed population, population. in yeah. your actually in your polis. So if they're all hoplites on the board, you don't have to feed anybody. Well, actually, you can never spend the last population yes. in a polis, so you will always have to always feed, have at, to least feed one. at least one. Um, but yeah. But, but it makes sense to kind of <laughs> to put your, put your people to, to war yes. and let them go feed themselves out in the land. Right. Right. So that's, that's kind of a way to think about it. But on this polis card, like my Sparty card, it has a little uh, rectangle in the shape mm -hmm. of a project, which means that one can take a project. Mm -hmm. Then it actually tells me exactly which ones I can take. Right. So Apollos, Zeus, mm -hmm. Zeus is up there. Yeah. Um, what else is up there? Uh, Ephibos, I think you can take. Ephibos, I can. And that's it. Yeah. I can't take the, uh, what's that one? Istia. Istia. Yeah. I forgot my readers can <laughs> see that bar. Sorry, you got them right here. Yeah, so I'll rely on you for that. So we have a supply of cubes. We have a supply of these uh, marker tokens mm -hmm. for the polis. Uh, we also have a supply of more merchants because you can bring out more merchants. Um, the game is going to go um, in turn order. We're going to take turns with Sparta going first, first. I believe, um, because it's just the, in certain things Spartans go first, certain mm -hmm. things Athens goes first. It's just the way the game plays. Um, we're going to take two actions, and then uh, the other player goes. And we're going to go back and forth until both of us pass. Mm -hmm. And then the end of the era occurs. Yeah. Um, and we'll explain all that. So we'll just get the first event, because there's one event per era. Uh, and it's no, no event. event. Okay. That's well, actually good news. That's actually great. Because events can be Not pretty, exciting for you. But <laughs> no, but they can be <laughs> can pretty be really ugly. Um, and that actually makes things quite nice. That so, does. Um, okay. We'll go through the actions briefly once I start my turn, because there's 10 of them. I yes. believe. Yeah, uh, they're, three, and they're, um, they're balanced, 11. so it's actually like a couple of things that you can do a few different ways. They're very organized. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll go over that when you start. Over that when we start. So, uh, all right, let's Kay. let's get to it. You know what you're going to do. Okay, so yeah, so uh, as Sparta, I will go first. So, okay. hmm, this is, yeah, this is going to be tough. So, um... I'm going to do, so the, out of, there's 11 actions, right? Yeah, do you want to just real, like mention them? Real really brief, quick? I'm going to mention okay. the 11 types of actions, right? And we have a hand, handy dandy overview board because there's yeah, like a player, player aid. Player aid. Awesome. Um, so you've got 
three move actions, right? Mm -hmm. Or three create actions. We'll start right. with that. So you can create hoplites, right? Mm -hmm. By taking cubes from your uh, states, population. Your population. You pick where you want to build them from, and then you would take cubes from them, pay the resources, and go, right? Uh, create galleys, same way, but it has to be done in a um, a polis, a, a polis yeah. that has a port, and there's these little arrows pointing out to the seas that those ports go to. Uh, you can create galleys into those seas. Uh, you can create merchants, which you would add here, depending on, again, it would have to come from uh, one of your one of your polis. Uh, and, and the main rule here is you can use population up to the last cube. Always has to be the last person left mm -hmm. to hold down the forts. Uh, next one is develop one of these projects. So if you have the resources, you pay for it, and then you put it in uh, your polis that can support it. And uh, that's it for like the, the main four like kind of like civil actions. Then you have um, military actions. And now these military actions are expensive because they cost one prestige point per action. Mm -hmm. And you only start with two. And they're not easy to get back. Yeah. So uh, two of them are moving. So moving your hoplites or moving your, your galleys cost one v prestige point to do. Um, laying siege to a polis to take one over, a new polis, Again, takes uh, prestige and uh, collecting tribute, which is like taking your state and getting resources from it, generating resource. Again, another prestige point, so that's mm -hmm. rough. Um, another bit, um, so those are the only four actions that cost prestige. Right. So, um, but you do, they're very expensive. Another one is a trade. You can trade with your merchant. You can move your proximos, or you can instigate a civil war, which you talked about earlier. So right. what I'm going to do first is I'm going to move. Okay. And that's going to cost me a prestige. Interesting. And I'm going to move all... Now, here's the way moving works. And also one rule we have to tell you is there's a stack limit. Right. For this era, there's a stack limit of three. And what that does, as you'll see as we progress through the game, is we will be checking for battles mm -hmm. starting next round. We won't be checking really this round because right. uh, the battles will begin when there's at least eight cubes in a given state. Right. So with a stack limit of three, the maximum we could ever have would be six. Um, and that's why it's very important to, to mind that in the first round especially. Exactly. So the way moving works is you pay your prestige mm -hmm. point, um, you pick a location. And you can move troops with a clear path from anywhere on the board to that location. Um, if it's on land they, and they don't have to go through any contested territory, mm -hmm. they can move right to it. I can take three people from three different locations, move them right there. Um, they can only move through sea by going into one ocean and then coming... Uh, you could go in through multiple oceans, but mm -hmm. they have to come onto land into the location. Right. You can't go from ocean to land to land. Yeah, exactly. You can go from land, you always go from land to ocean, 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 ocean to land. Right. But that land has to be the spot. Exactly. I choose my destination is going to Where be going? Uh, Megadis. And I'm going to use Megadis. all three of my guys Wait. here. Oh. And they're going to go up one and then over to Megadis. Okay. Um, I think. Why? too early mm. for Megadis. You think? I mean, feel free to go there. I don't know what you're going to do. The other thing, the, the reason why I'm questioning that, just to kind of explain, mm -hmm. like, strategy-wise, is that um, you'll see that there's, uh, all of these are kind of numbered. They're not in order. They're actually numbered with the, um, yeah. the population maximum. Mm -hmm. um, but that number is also um, what the number of cubes you have to have there in order to like lay siege to that yeah. state. So right now, because we have a stack limit of three, I can't, it's but silly to try and you can't take I was, over. Uh, agreed. You know I'm I mean? not there to take over. Yeah. I'm there to control it. Right. Um, but which is smart. Uh, it is, but maybe you know, maybe you're right. Maybe that's not necessarily what I want to do. Just <laughs> I mean, yet. I don't think the Athenians would really be telling you what to do. No, no, but I, I, I was thinking, why. I was yeah. thinking later, and yeah. that's fine. I may actually take these three uh -huh. to Cecilia. That's smarter. Um, to secure, yeah. to try and secure. Gala. You don't want me to have Gala this time, do you? Well, the problem here is I, I don't mind <laughs> you getting it, but there's there's risk in that. And that's... Uh -huh. um... Okay. I'm going to take that back. Okay. I'm going to stick with my first... Uh, I just don't want to confuse anyone. I'm going to stick with my first move, and I'm going to explain why. Okay. Strategy. I'm going to give away my whole strategy, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. So I move my troops into Megadus, and, and yes, it has a, uh, a fortification value of four. You need at least that many hoplites there to be able to siege that. Yes. 
I'm taking Megadis because one, Megadis controls these two ports, which means if I have a ship, I can actually go from this side of the map to this side of the map, no problem. Mm -hmm. I can also deploy ships directly into this sea. Mm -hmm. um, so if I do have ships here, so just be mindful. Correct. I could deploy them, mm -hmm. but I can't cross through it. Right. So the way the movement works is, and the reason I put them there, is because you cannot move a hoplite through mm -hmm. contested spaces. Proximos can move through mm -hmm. contested spaces. They just have to pay a silver for every enemy uh, boat or hoplite in that space that they pass through, which is very expensive. So that was my first move, and that's that, I'm going to stick with that. My second move is going to be to pay three wood and recruit three hoplites in Sparta. Okay. Boom. That's my two actions. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to start by uh, collecting tribute. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my three hoplites from Attica and put them here. Boom, boom, boom. So this is how this works. Um, over here are our uh, polace that we uh, control. Those are the only ones we can use, the ones we control. Right. Um, this is my hometown. And we take our hoplites and we actually fill up these spots here, starting with the top row and then working our way down. I could have easily also done like that. Mm. The numbers that are revealed are um, correspond with the resources that we're going to collect. So it's kind of like you're sending these people out to get stuff. Um, but I'm going to do this, and that way I'm going to get six silver mm -hmm. from these hoplites. So that's mm -hmm. going to be my first action. Just get Which three does silver. cost a prestige point as well. No, it doesn't because Oh, because, uh, yes, so yeah. very clear. So that, in other police, you are going to have to pay a prestige um, in your own. You do not because it's your hometown. We love you. And they'll hometown, go do anything for you. Because you're a hometown, hometown hero. hero. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can only do this once per state per round. Per so round, yeah. I'm going to put my little token in the slot right there to denote that I've already taken that action. I've taken the resources. I can't do it again. Mm -hmm. And then these guys are going to come back from their adventure back to Attica. So that's going to be move number one mm -hmm. for me. Um, second, second move um, is going to be... Um, thinking about where, I'm going to move as well. Troops? Yes. I am. I'm just thinking about um, exactly how I want to do this because I have a couple of things to take care of. You know <laughs> what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, thinking about what I want. All right, I'm going to take these guys. I'm going to take all three of these hoplites, and I'm going to move them um, here. Okay. To the salia. And that cost me that a cost. Yep. Yep. Um, one thing to note is that up um, here in... Actually, I'm going to move them up here. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, in Epidamnos and Abdera, mm -hmm. are, are, it's neutral territory. You are not allowed to move hoplites into those territories. Correct. Yep. At all. Yep. All right, cool. So, so that was your turn. So I'm going to start by doing a one prestige... Uh, no prestige, because I'm doing, doing them Lacan in Lacan. Sparta. Yeah. Uh, or Lacadamians, because I have three um, three hoplites here. I'll put two on the silver and one on the iron. Oh, hmm. iron. Because actually, I paid wood for hoplites. You have to pay iron for yeah. hoplites. I don't know why I paid wood, but yeah. I'm going to get one iron back and I'm going to get one, two, three silver. 
and then these guys come back. So that was my first action. Second action is going to be to move boom, boom, boom into Gala. My Proximus. Your and Proximus. you can move him for free. He just moves. Proximus. Proximus. Okay. Yeah, that's my two actions. All right. Um, fantastic. So I am going to. I'm going to lay siege. To Arcania? To Arcania, yeah. Uh, well, actually, to uh, Kerkira. To Kerkira. Kerkira. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so give me the pointy die. You get the siege <laughs> die. Um, this is going to cost you a prestige yes, point. Yes, it will. So this is going to cost me prestige. Hopefully this works out. <laughs> well, it should. It should. So we'll see. Well, you say that. You have a 50-50 chance. <laughs> Shut up. I hate rolling the triangle die. It's terrible. It's like kind of weird. So the way this works is I've got um, hoplites in there. Uh, I just needed to have two. I have three. And I'm going to roll this die and hope that I get something... Equal to or greater than greater two, than so. or equal to two to the strength, and, and you I got, got two, two, so you I just win. sieged it. I just sieged, so I take over Kerkira, and there should be a there should be a card Polis card, about card. Kirkira. and here it is, and I get uh, two victory points equal to the prestige points. Presti well, two yeah prestige points equal to the population so equal to two. the fortification, fortification or the starting value. population, yeah. and you also start it with two people. So when you take over a neutral polis, you start with the starting population. Yes, and I have two more people to feed. So that was your first action, right? Was uh, the siege? Yes, it was actually. Okay. So uh, my second action will be. Um, Oh, we have Ioni open. I feel like we always get the event that like blocks off Persia. Yeah. <laughs> or from trade. Yeah, for whatever reason. Um, okay. Um, I am going to Oh, I could do that. I guess I'm going to, um, I'll go ahead and do a uh, tribute with mm -hmm. Arcania. That okay. makes sense, right? So I'm going to get some iron, I think. So I'm going to get six iron. Do I do that? Yeah, I'll do that. One, two, six. And a prestige point. This time it costs. Oh, that's right. So yeah, so just do move. I want to do so that? So you just can though. move that over one. Um, <laughs> I might take that back. Actually, I forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm thinking about mm. too much here. Keep in mind, folks, you got to feed these people. You do have to feed so these people. That's keep why count I'm her like, cubes because that's a lot of hey, food. Hey, you watch them out. All right, I'm going to move my Proximo. He is going to go all the way up here. Boop. Okay. So your Proximo can move into can. Uh, a neutral zone. It's the only way to get up there. Can, so. <laughs> or at least to get control. So you're yeah. done. Yep. All right, so I'm going to do a Incite Civil War in Gala. Okay. And the way this works is you basically just bribe the population two times the fortification value. I have six silver. Yep. They've been bribed. Smart. Yeah. So that is, uh, that's all it costs me. I immediately take control of Gala uh, in Sicilia. So this is my heritage. <laughs> it is your heritage. It is my heritage. Well, about 50% of my heritage. It is. And I'm going to, boom, take Gala. And I get three starting population to feed at some point in the future, which is never good. So that's my first action. Mm -hmm. My second is going to be to, hmm. Oh, and I get, I'm sorry, I get the fortification value. Yes. Uh, in, in prestige. Yeah. One, two, three. This is how you keep your turn going. <laughs> right, <laughs> Otherwise right, you right. can't do anything. You got to feed the engine. Um, so that was my first action. Second action will probably be to get food from these people because, uh, actually, no, I'm going to need to get population. 
So I'm going to have to, because I don't have any hoplites here. Mm -hmm. Shoot. I'm going to need two pop, and I don't have enough iron. Mm. So what do I do? Hmm. Yeah, I need to get people here. I'll say. And how. And how. <laughs> um, yeah, that is really, really, you know, troublesome now because mm -hmm. I've got, I'm going to have to move troops then. They need it. Uh, you just started a civil war. Uh, I know. No plan. I'm, so I'll bring troops. I'll pay a prestige and I'll bring all three of my troops over to Cecilia. All right. Uh, not great. <clears throat> Do I want to bring all three? I kind of, let me see. Where's Cecilia? One, two. Yeah, I want to bring. Yeah. I yeah, I definitely want to do that. So that's my turn. Okay. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to, uh, initiate a civil war in Epidominus. Mm, okay. For two silver. Two silver. That's cheap. You got them <laughs> one, on two. the cheap. I did get them on the cheap. So we'll see. There's only one pop up there. And uh, there fantastic. you go. It's got a okay. you know, one you. point for that. One point is I. That's all I need. One really? Prestige, yeah. One dude. And for my second action, I'm going to pay one wood, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put a galley out here. All right. <clears throat> it costs a prestige point, by the way. And no, it doesn't. No, it does not. <laughs> nice try. All right, so I'm going to um, pay a wood mm -hmm. and get myself a galley from Gala mm -hmm. in these waters mm. as you my first like action. Like, you don't like how I take over those waters. Do I don't. You? I want. I need control of this water. That's for <laughs> sure. Um, just trying to think. Yeah, that's good. And my second action is going to be to do my, for one prestige, I'm going to do a tribute mm -hmm. in Sicilia, which will get me one, two, three, six food, which is huge for feeding my people. Mm. All right. They come back to Sicily. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. All right. I'm going to pay three, one, two, three. Silver or iron, rather, mm -hmm. to bring three of my hoplites out to Attica. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing to note—I don't think we mentioned it—but you, um, you cannot do the same action twice. Right. Yeah. On your turn. On your turn, you could do it like next turn, but yeah. But you have to do two different actions on your turn. Right. So you can't move and then move, for example, or attack and then attack. Well, you actually don't get to attack. That happens by default. Yeah. And not in this round. Yeah, not in this round. All right, I'm going to um, I'm actually going to move I'm going to move my galleys. So I'm going to spend one point, one prestige point mm -hmm. to move. Now, the way this works is you can move just like your hoplites. Mm -hmm. You can move from however many territories you ha you have hoplites or galleys mm -hmm. into a single area. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not crossing through another player's waters or lands. But right. you can land there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is send these guys down here mm -hmm. and send this guy down here. Oh, nice. You make me spend more wood to get more boats down here and that's gonna not cost me anything but that one prestige point so that's my second my second yeah because you did a move it's just yep. prestige man you keep let me spend wood well you foiled my plan so mm. <laughs> what was your plan well i wanted all that wheat oh well you don't need all that wheat <laughs> this is my i Can do you, need like, wheat. you have this whole side of the map and you but i want over here. also this side. yeah but you can't have both sides <laughs> but i can of the map um, no. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, I'm going to start with a, a trade. So, send me up to Illyria, please. 
I'm going to send, uh, he's going to travel through my sea, right up to Illyria. To Illyria? And trade. Yep. But my, my guy is there. Doesn't matter. I'm trading. So uh, your merchants go to markets as long as the sea's not blocked. There's right. two ways to get to that trading market. Uh -huh. One from Epididymus. Right. And that's you could go there without having a open sea path. Mm -hmm. Or you can go there as long as I control this sea, I can go there. Um, right, okay. I promise you, you yeah. forced that move, though. I did. You did, because now I, cause I, you blocked off all of these it's markets. It's okay, though. It's fine. I think, um, yeah, it's fine. I'm thinking of things in my head. Um, <laughs> actually, I can't even trade there. I don't have enough wood. So bring them back. So now I'm going to have to bring ships, waste a turn to bring ships over to here so that I can pass through here. Was that, was that good? Well, that was all right. It was pretty good. Um, actually, I'm not going to waste a turn. I don't really need to trade this time. Uh, hmm. It's more of a stalling move. Mm hmm Because now I've got... But, I mean, it, it actually is good. I'll spend the wood and mm -hmm. make a ship here. Yeah. Because I need to get rid of my people anyway. Exactly. Um, and you also need some ships over there. No, and I can spend a, a, a point and get them over here and then make this... Then it actually is even mm -hmm. and nobody, oh, nobody has control of the sea. Right. Um, which is fine. Um... But I'm not sure I want to do that this turn. I might do that next turn. But at least I'll lock down this guy for now. I think I wanted to... Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually spend one food and two grapes mm -hmm. to start this project. Mm, okay. Oh, I can't do this one. Why? You don't have any... I don't have a place that I can do this in. Oh. Oh, well, that stinks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this the only is, one I can afford. You can do these two, though. I can't afford either of those. Mm. That, yeah, they're too expensive. That one wants three iron and yeah, this one's four like really wood expensive. and two silver. Are they kidding me? For the I temple, it's, it's a lot but of points. It, it is worth four points, points. And it's worth two at the end. Yeah, that's, that's big that's points. The other guy's two wood, and I don't have two wood. So then I'm going to just spend a, a point... And, yeah, I'm going to have to bring a ship down here. Kind of a waste of a turn, to be honest. Hmm. Are you good with that? Hmm. I'm not great with that, but it's, it's really where I'm at now, so. Okay. I am going to take these two, I think, these are two, yeah, I'll just take these two hoplites, send them here for one, and then for my second action, I'm going to, ooh, do I really want, yes, I do. I'm going to siege okay. Nafk Pachos. Well, you don't even have to roll. You you're don't gonna, even have to you're roll. You're going to roll a one. Like That's it. Two, so. so you're going to take Nafk Pachos. Wow, you really spread yourself. Nafk Pachos. Awfully thin. I there know. you go. Thank you. It's also so a very polis. small city. True. With one guy only. You get a point for that. I do. Okay, I get my point back, so it's kind of like a free free. Well, beat. you were at zero, and now you're at one, because you had to pay two siege. You had to pay to move, what? and then pay to siege this turn. You had two prestige points. You paid one to move, but you never paid one to siege. Oh, yeah. So I have one. Yep, so you get one back. Okay. If you really think about it, anytime you mobilize yeah. troops and anytime you use your troops to either take tribute or siege, it costs a prestige. A point. Yeah. So those are the four things. Correct. Um, so that was your two actions. Right. So, all right, cool. It's my turn. Okay. All right, so I'm going to send him... Because now this is no longer contested. Um, I'm going to send them to the Egypt market. Okay. And for here, I can trade for food. Mm -hmm. And I can trade either wood, wine, or silver. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to trade wine. And currently, wine okay. yep. 
is at a, what is it, three? Three. A three for three rate, mm -hmm. so it's an even rate. So I'm gonna trade wine, and I'm gonna pay three wine, and get three food, just getting okay. ready for the feedings. All right. So I leave my merchant here to show that this market, this row yeah. of the market, and the other two rows are closed off, mm -hmm. because they'll open up in later rounds and be able right. to spend more. Now the way this works, you have to roll that die. Yep, twice. Um, twice. And four, you, four and four. Oh my so, goodness, wow. okay. So the way that this kind of confusing chart works is that all you're ever gonna trade for up here is wheat. Yeah, for wheat. Um, so all of this has to do with, um, first of all, what round it is, and this will you'll see that in the next round. But when we adjust the cost of this, we're gonna move this up, what, four? One, wine. two, we're three, wine up. four, yeah. So right now, um, you only had to pay three which corresponds to each of these resources yeah. for three wheat. But since now we've moved it up, anybody who trades again anywhere in the world here is going to have to pay four, yeah, the, the, we, four we three wheat. dropped the value of wine yes. because we flooded the market with wine. So now yeah. you have to trade four wine to get three wheat. Exactly. Um, the only way to get that back down is, if, is trading silver for wheat in a market that would normally take wine. Right. And it will actually bring that. Yeah. That value of wine back. Okay. Is that your first? That was actually okay. my first action. Wow. Okay. So I have some points left. Gosh. This is. This rough. is rough. This really is. My goodness. This is rough. Okay. Um, I'm going to. I might actually pass. Really? <laughs> what? There you go. You Athens. little bugger. I'm going to pass. Is that because I took over that C that didn't even really affect you very much? Yeah. No, it's not at all. Okay, I, so I... here's why I'm so <laughs> PO'd about this. So in this lovely game, yes. when a player passes, the other player can take as many actions as she would like, mm -hmm. uh, but each action costs a prestige point. Sure does. So I only have one prestige point right now. So you basically no, it doesn't. It costs a resource. Training. Sorry. Oh, no, a resource. No, no. It isn't. Yeah, I okay. always make it cost a prestige yeah. point. You can pay a, rece a prestige point. I'm okay with that. Um, um actually, okay. I'm not as PO'd now. Yeah, I'm like, why is so mad? I uh, mean, it's just gonna dig into your resources a bit, and I know, I resources I are, prestige points. That's fine. are okay. really valuable. Uh, in this game. That's fine. I have like a ton of wine that I'm gonna end up like throwing away anyway at the end of this game. So. All right. Um. Okay, so what was I gonna do? Okay, so my for my first action, um, and actually also after you, after a player has passed, I can now take multiple actions mm -hmm. consecutively. Consecutively. Do, so, um, so I think the first thing that I'm gonna do makes the most sense is gonna be to try and see if I can get some food somewhere. So you've taken up these. You took up this one. Yeah, that one's open. Not this one. This is open. Um, so I may, for my first action, take my guy over here to market. So I guess I take him up here. He doesn't really have to. Yeah, he the, goes up there. He does go does up. Does he there. just like yeah, go but, there? But the only reason. So back, what you're asking right? is how in the world did that yeah. did that merchant sail over to there? Yes. <laughs> but because she controls the polis there. Yeah. That little brown path into Illyria Market. Right. Just that's how the merchant gets there, and they don't. Exactly. It doesn't have to go by say. Right. That goes for that and the Abdira markets as well. Correct. Um, so I am going to instead of spending wood here, I am actually going to spend silver. So three silver. I'm going to spend three silver. Mm -hmm. Um, one, two, three, and that is going to get me three, three food. food. One, two, three. Um, I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight people to feed. Wow. That's okay. I'm yeah. fine with that. That action cost me a point. A grape. A, which I paid a grape. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, not a point. Uh, so, yeah, um, normally this, by paying silver here, you would normally be able to increase the value of wood, but wood's but already, already pinned, so yeah, you would, it doesn't matter. Low. All right, so um, using my wood... Um, which I would rather not do, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Um, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. So I'm gonna take one wood and I'm going to put a galley out in the Kiklades waters mm -hmm. again. 
and that costs one grape and then I can again spend a grape and another wood and send out a galley on the shores of Chios in Notias Sporades. Right? Okay. Yeah, when you when you deploy troops or boats yeah, or galleys, galleys. It, you, you can only deploy them from one polis at a time right. for that action. Exactly. So you can't just say, I'm gonna do boats and then start boats everywhere. Exactly. It's one, one boat polis. from one polis. Well, it, it could be multiple. One cube from one polis. It could be multiple boats from one polis. And you can only do it. You can, you, but you just have to pick the polis. Okay. But you can do multiples. Um, okay, so those were uh, my two actions. I'm sort of out of resources. Dude, you've got more actions. You can keep going. What? I have one more. I have one silver. Do I really want to pay a silver? Probably. Can't do anything else. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm like good. You're good? Okay. I guess, yeah. I so, guess so we are at the end of the first era. We are. We that. made it out. All right. So um, this guide tells you exactly the steps we need to do. So any projects we would have built would actually become activated. They right. would be completed. But we didn't do, but any. We didn't do any. So um, that's not going to happen. Food now. We're going to have to pay one food per citizen. So I've got right. one, two, three, four, five food. And I have one, two, three, one, two, four, three, five, four, six. Five. And I have exactly six food. Oh, very so, good. So now we're going to do growth oh, yeah. where you're allowed to pay one food <laughs> per um, polis, yes. or pay one food per person to mm -hmm. grow more people in your polises, right? All right. To, to, to get to so I'm going to definitely do that. So uh, I have four food here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go one here. Now, there's yes. a maximum growth rate mm -hmm. um, on here that you can actually do. So that's one food. Uh, this one is okay. a one, so I can only grow one person yeah. at a time. <laughs> um, I guess wow this one has a maximum of five people <laughs> it's a big mm -hmm. that's a big place um this has i can grow one in pylos i'm not sure if i want to though uh or sparta i definitely want. yeah to like you sparta. might be one, two, you may be like i three. really want to build population one i'll spend the three food and i'll grow three more in sparta i can do a max of three. Oh, max of three yep. okay that's the growth right. rate so that's that was good. actually pretty good cool um, so now we do megalopolis. So if yes. you have a polis where the population is above the base population, mm -hmm. then you get uh, um, so you a get one point. point. And I do because of Gideon. Gideon, yeah. Okay. Two, but it's cool. at max pop now, so I can't grow any bigger. Right. Um, and it can literally be one population above the, the base. Um, adjustment of goods. Yeah, we so, used all ours. <laughs> yeah, if you have food or wine, you cut it in half and round up right. due to spoilage. It accounts for, yes, the spoilage, so you want to make sure you're using those resources. Uh, Foros, you're allowed to spend uh, prestige points for silver mm -hmm. at a terrible rate, which I never do. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to prepare for the next round. So we technically um, get rid of yep. these. I will put out some new ones. Uh, you bring out four. Yep. And I get to pick. Yeah, lowest prestige gets to discard one of those four because we're going to have. Um, actually, no, you just bring out five rather. Yeah. Ah, Protagoras. Socrates. Socrates. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, all right. Socrates. So, so great. Uh, let's see. We have Dionysus. Um, I like Protagoras. And how do these come back? Well, let's see. Where can we build these? That's Oh, that's an Athena. That's one of mine. Mm. Just Athena. Athena. Oh, they're all Athena. Except for that one. Sparty. Mm, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, it's all grapes. Um, these are all, like, way better points, though. So we're going to get rid of that. Okay. You can build some of these on other places. Yeah. They're all Syracuse. So too. go ahead and um, take your yep. your thing back. Um, yeah. Update the round marker, so that's going to flip. Yep. So now we have a max stack limit of four. So this is where battles can start happening. Correct. Now. Uh, it's also going to open up the top cube. So grab Second, that one, yeah. that one, that one, and that one. So the markets just got bigger. Mm -hmm. um, merchants go back to their ports. So yours goes back here. Mm -hmm. Mine goes back here. Did you take uh, Elixinos? I did, because uh, that's closed oh, in the that's beginning, right. closed and now it's open. Okay. Um, 
Uh, and we're good. So that All is right. it. We're ready to start round two. Let's fight. All right. There's only like, there's only like one thing I can yeah. do. I would be so bad at ruling. You're probably right like, now, so. wow, you guys are really bad at this game. Yeah. Because you're not managing your your prestige points well. Like we've played That's this game like three think. times already, That's and I still think. haven't figured out the best this way is, to do this. Well, yeah, we'll say we'll say we'll say that for the but, talk. But yeah, yeah, this is uh this has been a thinker for both of us. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm going to uh do something crazy, very crazy. Um, oh, actually, I can't even, I can't even do that. I can't even do what I thought I was going to be able to do. Um, all right, well, here goes nothing. I'm going to take these guys and move them over here for one, <laughs> for my one final point. Oh, do I want to do that? Or do I want to go there? Oh, all right. I'm going to go here, and I swear if this doesn't work. Why don't you bring more guys there? What? Well, you should bring more. You can bring stack four now. You know what I mean? And with the move action, you can bring guys from anywhere. I can. Um, yeah, that's true, but I don't know. I don't really, like, need people up there. I just need to be there. Um, all right, maybe I'll bring one more guy from here, up there. It's just that if you lose, you lose guys. Um. And to have to move yeah, more guys back. I it, know. The thing I is, know. when you siege, if you f fail to succeed uh, to roll, right. you lose a guy, a hoplite. Yeah. And then you get to go again. And then you get, right. you'll, and if you eventually get below the, yeah, <laughs> the season, limit, this you're in fine. trouble. Okay. Um, all right, let's do this. Where's that stupid triangle die? So you, um... So I moved my first action for my second action. I'm going to lay siege. Okay, to Macedonia. To Macedonia. Wow. Come on, Macedonia. You roll a one. It's a, all bets Would are off. Would you stop? Please, stop. No! And there it is. No one. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Uh, all right. Well, I get to put a disc there. You do. A siege disc. A siege disc. You know, this is not a... You know what the sad part about that is, though? And what? you lose a guy, by I the know. way. What's um, the sad part? The sad part about the siege disc is... It stays out there for the round, but if you don't have enough prestige points to siege it again, it goes away at the end of the round. <laughs> so oh, wait a minute. I can't lay siege to that. Why not? I didn't even have a point to spend. I just used a, a point to move. Oh, you only had one point to yeah, move? Yeah, I only had one oh, point. Okay. I can't even do that. Well, then you need to so put that point back to zero. To... Wait, what? I'm moving all this stuff back. I'm moving everything back. Oh, you thought you were going to be able to move and siege. I'm the whole thing back. Yes. Wow, this is I'm, taking, I'm sorry, long. I'm taking the whole thing back. Okay. Because I can't even do that. Because you only have terrible. one prestige point. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. All right. So I think you're not going to like this too much, mm -hmm. but I'm kind of hoping it, it instigates something. I'm going to pay a prestige point to move these three ships, mm -hmm. my galleys, over here to the mm -hmm. Pentecost. So now I've got these three ships, these four ships <laughs> sailing. Four ships They're sitting, like, and you took control of those seas, so... So that's my first move. Okay. My second action is going to be to bring this guy down here. Oops. Oh, wow. Try Stand to, up, Mr. Try to take over that guy. city. That's going to be eight simoleons. It's going to be Good so luck. many silver. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's I just a, want him down there. That is a ton of silver. I know. Um, yeah. So the cost to yeah the cost to take it is twice in silver is twice that's the bribe twice the fortification value is eight I silver. Know. If if it's a player owned because you can you can take over a player owned. I know. Um, yeah, you Polis. certainly can. It's three times. It is. I know. So be that nine. would be nine. So it's even yeah. worse. Um, but in any case, that's your second move. My turn. Yeah. Uh, so you're at a prestige point. He might points. get stuck down here. I'm like, gonna spend a we'll uh, an iron to start. Okay. And in Gala, I'm going to create a hoplite. Okay. All right, so now I have a stack of four. Good. With my second action, I'll spend one prestige, mm -hmm. and I'll move two ships yes. into the Ionian Pelagos. And the reason I did that is, one, because I can't have that blockaded, and two, 
it's another way to earn. It's one of the few ways to earn prestige you points outside of sieging. To You've got to fight in this game. The first um, round drains your resources. Yeah. So if yeah. if we can hopefully at least we get to demonstrate combat now, yeah, which is pretty cool. Exactly. Before um, we lose. <laughs> yes. Before we lose. So here we have the battle deck, yeah. and we're each going to get. Uh, a starting hand. I hope I don't draw that card that makes you pay a victory point. I hope you do. I'll lose. Right now. Uh, <laughs> right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Yeah. Okay, so let's get ready to rumble. Okay. All right, so I deal out cards equal to the number of tri troops. So troops. we have four galleys each. So this is going to be ocean. So these cards have um, land troops and sea troops on them. Formations, yeah. rather. Um, and just because we didn't we didn't really explain this technically, like, um, from a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You finished your entire turn, Sorry, and then a yes. battle broke out. Yeah. So had you have moved your ships first, this would not be taking place in the middle of your turn. Correct. This always happens after your turn. After, the, so after that player's turn. Okay. A after every turn, you check to see if there's a stack of eight oh. units in any space. And if there are, battle breaks out. So this is the first time that and we knew that was going to happen at the end of my turn, but this is this is how it works. So what we've got is the in sea battles, Athenian player is always the attacker in the first okay. round. I'm the defender. So the attacker is going to play two cards, two formation cards face up. My job is to match those formations right. to defend them. If I can't, I start losing troops. Okay. This so is you're going to play two of them here facing me. Okay, so I'm going to face them this way. Can yep, we do so that way? Yeah, so they can way? see. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to move that shit back. Right, Just so keep them on, on the board, right? Yes. So she's hitting me with this Enoterra Triris formation with her Per Ippolos ship. Yes. Yeah, I'm not... With a value of one, happens. attack value of one. So this matters. All right, so what do you got? These ships are garbage. And a what is and that? Another a, a tier it. So you've got a Periplos. Right, but your formation is Anoterra Tiris yes, and a and a Triris. Mm -hmm. So I can block the Triris. The okay. So this is blocked. Um, no troops lost. You get one point for the attack because no. your attack value. You match. Oh, the it. difference. Yes, so right. Sorry. The difference. The difference is difference zero. Difference is zero. So that's perfect. So now I've got to block an Anoterratrius. So I'll put out a. I don't have a block for this. Okay. So I'm going to lose a ship. So I'm going to put out a Kiklos, okay. which doesn't match. I lose a ship. And I you gain, gain the, the value the of the card. So, so that's one point. one point. So that is the first combat round. All right. So these so, all get. No, you hold on to your cards okay, that you didn't play. These hold on to. Yeah. These are the these discards. Ones go away. Player who was the attacker, which is me, always yep. draws two draws more two, cards. And I, you're going to draw up to. I the draw up to ships. the number of ships I have left, so I draw one. So now I'm the attacker. Oh my goodness, really? Okay. So let's do this. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to attack with this and oh, a Tiratrius. Really? And a Brahim. What? I don't either of those. That's perfect. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, yeah, I can't. I can't match any of those. So right, I'm just gonna good, toss out stuff. my low point cards, my zeros. Oh, go. zeros. Okay. So you get lots of points. I'm gonna get three points, and, and you're gonna, gonna lose, lose two ships. Is <laughs> how that is how that ended. <laughs> well, that was a very okay. big Spartan sea. And I now get to draw no cards because I already have two cards. And I draw two. So, One. Too. This Did battle not is work not going out well. how I had planned. Uh, yes, because you draw up to your, your army limit. So now you're attacking, so you have to play your last two cards. This is all I've got. This is terrible. So you have a tree, a tree, a two tree, two tree risses. Risses. Well, I do have a tree okay. risk, so we'll match that. Um, I don't I do. have that tree risk, but I'll just put out a key close. And you get zero points for that. Oh my god. This is so the you get a point. No, I don't get Oh, you a point. don't get a point. I don't get any points. No points. This did not work out as planned. <laughs> FYI. So you get two cards. You're the attacker. I am the attacker. Hopefully right. these are better. Two cards. cards. Uh, no, I... Yeah, oh, so... Um... no. Wait a minute. Did I block both of these? Never mind. This is my attack, right? Or your attack? That was my attack. Okay, so wait a minute. I 
blocked. Oh, I didn't block this one. Right, but I get zero points for it, so. Right, but I lose a troop. That's wait a minute, I'm... wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, you, you, you... played... I might have messed the cards up. I think you messed them up. That's fine. But that's okay. I didn't block all of them. The yeah. one I didn't block was zero points for exactly. you. Exactly. Right. But I lose but a guy. Lose I a still lose okay. a ship. Sorry. Yeah, so here you go. So I drew... So wait, I was defender? Yeah. So I draw a card. Yes. Yes. And you got two, right? Okay. So what garbage. you got? Well, you're the attacker, so... Oh, I am? Yeah. Alright, so I've got the Anoteratrius and a Mistophoros. Oh, the Mistos. Mistos. The Mistios. Mistios. Uh, yeah, this is terrible. So I have this Anoteratrius. Well, you blocked it. And a S Salfinx, which makes me lose a point, even though I don't want to play him. So um, Yeah, that wow. Sucks. So, so this one, I. You, you did block. I blocked this one, and I blocked that one. So you block, I get the difference, though. Yeah. So I do get a point. And this one, yeah. you didn't block? I did. He automatically wins, but you like, lose a point. Yeah, so that didn't work out for me at all. But you didn't lose any ships. Well. You still might win the war here. I don't have any cards left. Um, you draw how many? You were the attacker, right? Oh, that's right. So I can draw, draw two, two. Right? And then I draw up two. Uh, no, you were the attacker that time. You got the points. Right, so well, I draw I up draw two. I draw two, and you draw two. Yeah. So either way, you're always going to draw. Oh, can I have the ones you... that you just drew? No. Oh, these are good. You draw me two cards, and then you took them back. So, All right, so you're, not be good. you're attacking now. <laughs> you took them back, and you gave me two. That's perfect. Ones. I can't block either of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're the attacker. Okay. You're not going to so get... get a point. No, I don't get any points. Yeah, you Again. do. You get one point. I get one point for that being right. the card. Okay. But you knocked out both my ships, so you actually oh, won the won the sea battle. It doesn't feel like a victory. But you won. I know. It's good. Um, Still in the game. You're in the game. So that was a... I kind of a, thought the game was going to be over. Because I thought I wasn't going to have any points. Well, that was a lot of a, draw that a swingy fighting there. Uh, uh. But now I'm left with no navy. Yeah, actually, that's not great for you. No, this this is this is really difficult. And now it's my turn. Um, yeah, that was the end of my turn. Right. So you have to you have at least a prestige point to work with. I do have one prestige point. And I have point six to, to rebuild. You do. Yeah, you are in a much better position than I am right now. Mm -hmm. um, however, um, oh, and I can't even fight you. Mm. I can't. I can't even fight you anywhere. Um, actually, I can. Oh, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. You could bring guys this here is, now. I, you know I'm gonna. All right, one point. Mm -hmm. This is like probably not how polls is supposed to be played. So like, don't <laughs> use this as like an example of how you should play this game. I'm gonna bring a bunch of dudes down because that's thematic. Mm -hmm. Now I have control of the Iona and Pelagos, and I'm like, I'm coming down there. To get Cecilia. Wow. And I'm um, my dude's already down there, like working the crowds. And here come my people. So I'm gonna bring down one, two. What's the Celia got? Mm. Three and four, I guess. It's fine. Whatever. Okay. All right. And, but so. that's only one my one move action, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So, um, I can not really do anything else anyway because I don't have any points. Um, I'm thinking about like even trading. I can't even really do because I don't have any stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. And I don't have the money to spend or the prestige points to spend to do you want to move your proximo somewhere um, now that you have now that i can yeah free reign um, of the seas possibly yes, heck, you could um, even... yeah like i can move in pretty much anywhere yeah. right now um 
I mean, I could do that. The other thing I was thinking is I could actually what I may do is bring I could bring my I could bring this Attica over and just do my grab stuff. Uh, no, because that costs a procedure. No, it doesn't. Point. Attica's my city. Oh, he's there. Yeah. Oh, you're just going to bring him. Uh, I'm just gonna I thought you were talking about here. bringing him over somewhere else. No, no, no. Yeah, uh -uh. Yeah. I'm going to actually take him and over here. You're going to get do this. tribute. The reason I'm doing that, and because you might be like, why are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't really have people in a position to like move them all back no, over that there makes now. Sense. That makes sense. Um, and I've got nobody else to bring from Attica. So well, why I'm, not get something? Why out not of it? get yeah. something out of it? Yeah. Like one silver. Okay. One silver. So that's probably not worth it, but whatever. I'm doing it anyway. Put it back. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's fight. All right, it breaks out into war. So we are going to do the same thing, but for land. Mm -hmm. And Sparta is actually going to, going to go first. Fight. I'm the yeah. attacker because the Spartans are beasts. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> You're not dealing anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm on the attacker, right? Yeah. I'm going to throw down two phalanx. I think I'm about to lose, actually. I don't know how I got this again. You did phalanx? Mm -hmm. Twice. All right. <clears throat> phalanx mm -hmm. and... Oh, let's do that. Let's... All right. Um, yeah, I have to. So for this one, we resolve. You well, blocked it. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. um, I. All right, I'm going to be straight with you. I have this. Okay. Oh, I the negative victory point? I can't afford it. Um, and I'm thinking. Oh, never mind. Okay. Go ahead. Um, you're going to get more cards. You don't have to I'm going to get more yet. cards, I so know. So I would, yeah. now that I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so for this first one, you blocked it, so I only yeah. get the difference. I get one right. prestige. Nobody gets yeah. uh, killed. Uh, this one I did win, so you lose a troop. Yes. And I gain the full two prestige. Yeah. And these get discarded. Yeah, you're just, like, killing it. I've got so many points now. I think it's because you're dealing the cards. So I get two cards, and you draw up to three, and you're the attacker now. Great. Right. I've got two of the exact same formation. I'm not very creative in my right. attacky. So I did the same thing. So I will block that one. And I will not block that one. Okay. So you get no Nothing. points for that. And you get one point for that. And you lose a troop. And I lose a troop. Thank goodness. So you get Ugh. two cards. And I draw up to three. My attack. Woo! Okay. Let's go with, let's try this out. Boom and boom. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, the phalanx, huh? Oh, wait a minute. See, I always do the formations, and that's not correct. Like, if you notice, there's this, like, formation. This is the name. No, like, this is the formation. formation and then the That's the name of the troop. Troop or whatever? Yeah. And I always try to match the troop, and I don't pay attention to that, uh, which is not good. So. Formation is key. Or the picture. You can match the picture. Yeah, that's true. All right. So I'll just do this. Okay. No, but, oh, yeah. I guess you can match the picture, right? So I'll mm -hmm. do that. So I'll pay my one. So minus one point. So, wow. So you're going to lose... Um, but I win this one. The Salfinx. Yeah, he's a strange bird. It's it's very weird, um, but he wins all battles. Yeah. But, and, but you, actually, I guess I'll do this. That makes more sense, right? If he wins that, I get, well, I would get the Nothing. difference. Right? No, because he won the battle. Right, but when it doesn't matter. Like if I lose the, if you block right. my attack, I still get the difference, and the difference oh, between three, this yeah. is two. Yeah. You sure you want to do that versus one? Um. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Because he's so negative you think one. This is probably. No, no, no. I think you you want to use him because he's gonna. You want to do that. You want to do that. <laughs> yes, okay. and put him there. Okay. I'm just saying because it, this one I lose, mm -hmm. and the difference is one. Right. So I would get a point. 
Versus if you put him here, I would get two points. Okay. Because that's plus one. So I'm only getting two points now. Oh. Versus what I would have gotten three. Okay. Is I don't really saying? understand that, but that's okay. Um, because it has negative. Right. So this one, you lose a troop because okay. I won. Okay. And I get the full value of one. Right. This one, you beat me and don't lose a troop, mm -hmm. but I get one because I get the difference. The, oh, I see what you, you see mean. You see what I mean now before? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah, the difference yeah. between negative one and one is actually right. two. Oh. So, so I would have got two points. Right. So I think it, it might have worked out math-wise the same. Makes more sense. I wouldn't put any other card down to lose this fight because you would be down to one Why? troop. Like, cause just the, oh, because he's cause winning. You won. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. And yeah. you would have lost. If you're ever down below, already. if you're down to one hoplite. Battle over. Game over, yeah, you lose. Exactly, That's exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. That's why I'm saying it's, it's, uh, so I was attacker, I get two, you draw up one. to two cards. Yeah. All right, so now you attack me. Oh, my goodness. This is the okay. final round. Oh, is this all the cards? No? Oh, because we well, only no, have. Because. Well, you don't know it's the final oh, round. Oh, it's the final round. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to block that. And. What is this one? This one's weird. This is the Mystios. That's the Mystios. What is his special? He's wild. Oh, he's wild. So then I block both. Oh. I don't lose any troops. Uh, you get a point. Okay. And no points. You just get okay. one point. But you don't lose any troops. I don't That's lose any fine. troops. So these get discarded. You were attacking. You get yeah. two. And I draw up to three. I attack okay. now. Yeah. I was hoping that was the last one. <laughs> but we'll do this. Ooh. Ah, interesting. Okay. So, Phalanx. Mm hmm. And. Well, sorry. So, so, blocked, not blocked. Not blocked. So, you lose a troop, and I get no points. Yeah. But the battle's over. Um, You should have gotten one point. Why? You had a two. The difference oh, was right, in your right, favor, okay. not mine. Yeah. So, I get no points. But the battle's over. The Spartans took the land. Slide. Well, it, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was kind of the opposite. Well, that's the thing about this. The Spartans—they're yeah. better on land. No, yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, but the Athenians own the seas, so which okay. thematically that battle made sense. The Spartans are tough. Yikes! Um, okay, it's your turn. But now it's <laughs> my turn. Woo. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I think we're going to have to do some stuff. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm going to need to start moving troops because I don't have any resources mm -hmm. and this is a problem. Yeah. I've got some in Sicily. But You've got good resources in Sicily. No, I have people. But it, no, I don't have resources to rebuild my army and that's oh, my problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I need to do a move. So my first action will be to go back to Sparta mm -hmm. and let me look and actually we're going to go to no we'll do Sparta and then my second action will be to grab six silver uh, six iron mm -hmm. because I need to I need to get some troops so that was my first turn now uh, your turn all right, I have to first put this here because yeah, I you used did that. use that and that I forgot sense, to put yeah. that there. Um, all right, all right. I'm um, so. I just oh, noticed we, we didn't, didn't pull, pull the event, event yeah. so we'll see how bad this messes us up, <laughs> if anything. And boom, what? lucky, no event. <laughs> okay. uh, wow. There are a lot of events, so I'm There's surprised we, we got. Weird. This is actually really lucky. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go with that. And it, thankfully, it didn't affect us. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so this is going to be a weird move, but I literally have, like, no prestige points left mm -hmm. and also no resources to trade for anything. So um, so I'm going to spend one plus prestige point, mm -hmm. and I'm going to move galleys. Oh, okay. I'm going to move this guy and this guy down here. Wow, you're really blockading the entire sea. It is literally the only thing I can do. Okay, that's fair. Um, And then... For my second move, mm -hmm. I guess I can like move my Proximo mm. up here. That's not a bad move, actually. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, you have enough silver to actually take that. It's the only other thing I can do. And that'll get you actually get you another action point 
uh, mm -hmm. prestige point back. Yeah. Um, and keeping the game, yeah. right? So I think what I can do now is spend one of my iron mm -hmm. for my first action and get a hoplite from Githion mm -hmm. to bring my stack to four here. And my second will be to spend a prestige point and move them up to Arcadia. Good call. Your turn. Um, I will just do this. So um, for double the for double fortification, you get two silver. Yep. We'll and earn will... you one prestige. Yes, I'm going to. And more mouths I... to feed. Wow, I know. This is so bad. Uh, so put your little token on Abdira. Yeah. And you get a one population. <laughs> but Polis. I can't feed. That for anything. You're going to have to worry about feeding. So that was your first action. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, I literally can't do anything else. I can... What, what wouldn't you... Like, well, that's what I was thinking. I could do Ionia. Yeah, just get something for it. And... And actually, you oh. know what? Yeah, there's a lot you can do, actually. Is there, though? Well, I mean, Iona, Ionia. Uh -huh. This is what I'm thinking in my head. Right, right. For you. Ionia, you can get, you can demand tribute. That's right? what I was saying. In thinking. Ionia, you can get three silver, mm -hmm. right? With three silver, you can trade in any market for three food. That at right, least yeah. helps you, oh, yeah, yeah, considering yeah. you have zero food. And to actually, feed your right what now. I was thinking was I should probably take this back because mm -hmm. I don't need that. Oh, but I did because it gave me a, it gave me the you, point. You would that be I your turn would have been over. That's yeah. the one I needed the point, so I will. Do that. I'll do tribute in Ionia because mm -hmm. that gives you the to spend a point yeah. and give me these folks. Go over here. I get three silver, mm -hmm. and then these guys can come back yep. here, and I can put a cube up there. But that's it. Like that's that was your second action anyway. Um. Yeah, it was. So I can. I'm yeah, gonna try. Okay. I'm gonna spend a prestige. I'm gonna try to. Lay siege to Arcadia. Mm, God, I am like barely holding on here. So Arcadia needs a three. Yeah. And it's a one. So I fail. I put a siege cube here, a mm -hmm. siege thing, and I lose a hoplite. Right. That was my first action. I can't do it again because mm -hmm. it's two actions of the same. Yep. Um, but I can spend one, two, three, four iron. Uh, I'm sorry, three iron to bring out three more hoplites in Sparta. Right. Your turn. Okay. I'm going to build a project. Mm -hmm. Oh, smart. <laughs> so <laughs> I have three silver. Mm -hmm. Protagoras yeah. costs exactly three silver, and I can build him in Athena for the tiny little population that is there in the hoplite. So we'll do this. The projects are going to go under construction, so that's going to go there. Face down. It'll come out once we do scoring. Yep. Um, I can't really do anything else. <laughs> Uh, so I am going to pass. All right. So I have... I have some actions to take still. You have maybe three actions to take. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to pay a wood because of your pass mm -hmm. and pay that to try to lay siege to Arcadia again. But now I get a plus one. That's right. my cube. Uh, so you're kind Three. of like wearing them down. That's yes. perfect. Three yeah. plus one is four. I would that would have won the first siege anyway. So I effectively siege them. I get three points for that. Great. One, two, three. Um, I do get the Arcadia. Can you just like put your cube in the thing? Is that bothering? Like, yeah. uh, well, what is the city there called? Argos. Ah, uh, the city of Argos. Argos. And I get three population there. So that was my first action. Okay. And. I don't think no. There's no. I still can't do any of those projects. None of my cities have those projects. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I can for a prestige for my second action and pay. I guess pay steel. Mm -hmm. Um, get some stuff from Arcadia. Mm -hmm. 
and I'll take this silver. Okay. And food. So it's one food and three silver. And then they come back. Yes. And I'll pay one more metal and one more thing to do Cecilia. Mm -hmm. That was just in Argos, right? Yeah. In Arcadia. So now I'm going to do Cecilia with three mm -hmm. food. For the food? And that's That'd six, be six food. food, yeah. Yep. That's good. That'll bring me to seven food. Three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Done. Nice. Good. Done and done. Fantastic. So, uh, projects, they go into play. So now Fan you're going to get your points. Fantastic. I get three points. Three no, points. actually I get two points. Two points for projects. Yes. So that comes okay. to comes to fruition. Food now, we pay. So I'm going <laughs> to pay food. all seven of my food. And that'll feed all everybody. Right. So I did this specifically so I could demonstrate what happens when you have absolutely <laughs> no food <laughs> for your people. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to pay prestige points, right? Yeah. I'm going to feed them prestige points. Um, and I'm going to lose a lot of yeah. land. So you can give so. up your polis, or yep. pole, um, because you can't feed them. Right. So I'm going to give up Abdira up here. Yep. So your control goes away one um, at a time. I'm going to give up, so I can keep two. Technically, but then I won't have any. Yeah, yes. Action, um, so the I one guess, you oh, cannot yeah. give up. I know I can't give up. Is I, Athens. Can't, I guess I'll just give them all up. I'll just give them all up because I got to keep all my points. I got to feed Athens. Yeah. The so other that's going to be one, and that's where my project is. And I guess just screw all these other places. So. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like the the uh, Athenian control of I Greece this way. just fell. I planned it this way. <laughs> There's one cube on the board. <laughs> Have you read the history? Okay. Well, that's. Have you read history? That's great. Yes. Um, so, all right, there you go. You're okay. fed. So, any extra food for growth? I don't have any. Um, so then we're gonna do the Here. megalopolis, and I don't have anybody above the megalopolis, so no extra points this time. Uh, adjustment of goods. Uh, I don't have wine or food. Neither mm -hmm. do you. The foros. We can pay points for silver. Like yeah. two points is three silver. I might actually consider that. This time? Yeah. yeah. Um, one, You've two. You've got an excess of points for there. One, two, three silver. Because it just saves me some time later. Yeah. Um, preparing for the next round. So we're going to actually pull the event next time, this yes. time and get rid of those yeah, projects. So this event. How is it possible that we pulled three what? no events? Pull a different event. This never happens. Pull a um, different one. For real? I, just so that I don't have the deck on me. Oh, okay. How um, did you do that? I don't. That I did shuffle these. That was, and that's not like there's an there's one like you shuffle one, them like you shuffled those battle cards. Well, <laughs> the events are cool too because they're historical. They are. That's why I'm like um, pull it up because that's not. I feel like that's not fair. I don't know how I, I that happened. Want, I don't want an event for the sake of having an event though. No, but just give like well, here, a sample. like here. Okay, so here's like a third level. Um, event. So, free trade with Egypt. The Egyptian people overthrow the Persian satrap our Sams, and with their independence seek direct trade with the Greek world mm -hmm. as a historical event. Both players may trade with the Egyptos, bypassing any naval blockade during this round. That's cool. You know what? We'll put that in. Just yeah, because... It's a good one. Just, they're not always good. They're not always good. But uh, this is to give you an idea. Like, the events are pretty cool. Like, they do right. little things like Wait, that. Wait, so what does that let you do? It allows us both to trade here uh -huh. without worrying about who controls the seas. That was my entire strategy. Oh, well, I guess that helps me. Um, but that's cool. I think you've seeded this entire thing. You're like, <laughs> let me just find a really good event card here. Oh, this one will do. Well, it, hey, it was ra <laughs> at random, let me tell you. I all don't right, trust so you. we're going to pull these, the rest of these cubes off. The, all the markets are open. All right. Completely. Um, our cubes all come back. So we yes. get to, to get this in order. Mm hmm. You're going to get to go first this round, and you get to, uh, they're all out now. And mm -hmm. you got to remove that round marker yes, at the top. So exactly. the stack limit goes up to five now. Oh, this is where it gets real, folks. Does though. It really, yeah, this is where we can actually start doing some stuff. Wow, that's what you think. How many silver do you have? All right. <laughs> 
Oh my. So oh my goodness. What are you going to do? Wow. Um, this is like, I just feel so bad because I feel like I'm not being an exemplar of how to play this game. But this is not a strategy video. I do not claim to be good at this game. And actually, I'm not doing too bad. I don't think. No, you're doing great. Uh, I don't. I just don't like that you can like trade down there. I do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can build that. Can you though? It's nice build, being able to build some stuff. I don't know if I can right now, but I'm um, saying like I can build it. Like you can eventually, mm -hmm. type of thing. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. I gotta do some stuff. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be weird. This is like the weirdest, weirdest play of this game. Mm hmm. Well, um, I mean, you you technically didn't pen me out here that badly because I do have with Argos, I do uh -huh. have population to bring out you galleys do. if I need yes, to, right? Yes, like I could, could, I could that. just do that. You definitely could do that. Um, yeah, and I can't... The thing is I have one, one victory point mm -hmm. to my name here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could bring people over to Cecilia. Mm -hmm. And hope that you want to fight me there, and hope that I can get some points to do some stuff. Um, or I could just pass. You could do that, and it would force and me to. And I think that that's what I might do because you are limited mm -hmm. in your resources right now, and I think that that might be the best course of action here. Mm. So that's a weird thing. It is, but, but I think, I think it's, strategically, it's a, it's a, it's a it, possible thing. It works, so okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. So, so enjoy playing the third round all by yourself well, okay, so, with your free Egypt market. So I'm gonna, Unless you want to battle me somewhere. No, I'm going to have to do a few actions here. Um, I can't battle you because you don't have enough to stack eight. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So I can't even fight yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. There's just It's impossible. Yeah. Um, I can trade... Like, I could have moved these guys over with one point and then passed. Yeah, but it's not worth uh, it. I'm not going to do that. So, like, I can do a... So I can pay a silver to... Because mm -hmm. I, I, it's the only resource I have to go to Sparta and hopefully do some stuff mm -hmm. in Lacadamon, right? So I can get right. maybe, like, three wine and a silver. <laughs> like... I'm not really sure, but what that helps oh, me helps with you get, gives me resources yeah. to take more turns, right? right. So we'll, we'll, we'll cap that up, right? It just limits you on like doing projects and stuff. Yep. So I'll pay another. Oh, whoops! You could I'll pay a silver. Yeah. To grab food from here mm -hmm. with Sicily, we know that's six food. Yeah. Um, put that here, there. I'll pay another silver to do a. Um, oh, and I did. I had to pay a prestige for that. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to pay one for Sparta. Uh, Arcadia, I can get some resources from. Mm -hmm. um, one, two, three, four. I have seven people. What's in Arcadia? Um, everything, kind of. Nothing I want. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to move. So I'll pay a silver and move. Um, one, two, three, four troops. Five troops. That costs a prestige to move troops. I paid it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you paid your silver and as your the silver. action. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And right. I'll pay another silver mm -hmm. to get resources. Okay. Uh, tribute in Messina. So Smart. we'll go boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> Ten wine <laughs> and one food. Messina's just crushing it so now i can start paying wine for my turns one wine and i'm going to build this project for four wine mm. no wonder you were so fine with me letting you pass well, letting you pass yeah I, mm. I just knew i had an engine to, to build You're like, oh that's a good strategic move but actually it wasn't <laughs> you're so mean what did i do 
I do anything. Um, and I think I'm running out of prestige points here. Though. Yeah, you are. Um, what is this guy? Huh? What is his name? Uh, Nemia. Nemia. What does he cost? He's three wine and a wheat. All right, so I'll spend a wine plus three more, and a wheat to build Nemia down okay. in Argos. Um, I'll spend another wine to take another action mm -hmm. and a prestige point to go all five troops mm -hmm. into Megaris. Okay. And from here, I'll spend another wine and another prestige point to siege it. Mm. Three. It's a fail. <laughs> Lose a troop, put a thing there. Another wine, another prestige. Mm -hmm. This is literally what I'm just trying to take Megaris at the end. Three this plus is like one is four. Purely thematic. By yes, the way. we took Megaris. I get four prestige, and I can pull. Oh, that might have been a dumb move because now I have a boatload of people yeah. that I can't feed. Get too excited. Yeah, but should go while you're ahead. I probably should have. Should pass. Because this is four more people. Yeah, I know. Um, so now I have to take other actions, and that's yeah. fine. I've got enough wine to do this. Okay. So I'll pay a wine. Mm -hmm. I'll pay a prestige. I'll move all of these guys to Achia. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Just get get out of my face. I'll pay another. Oh, crud. Yes, what's the problem? I, I can't move them to Achia. <laughs> um, I'm going to move them to Arcadia. Okay. And from here, I'll pay a silver and a and a thing to get thing um, stuff stuff yeah from Arcadia. But what I want is all. Ah, so you can bring Matt your people out. Plus food. Yeah. So I'll take a food. And six. And six. Iron. Iron. Right? Okay. So they go back to Arcadia. And I will spend more resources. This is killing me that you passed. I know. Uh, I'll spend one of my iron. And I'm going to get troops. Okay. From Corinthos. The, three of them. So it's three mm -hmm. iron. One, two, three. And bring three troops into Corinthos. Okay. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Troops with seven. I'll spend another silver. I can't. I can't bring those guys out because there's already. I think you'll be I okay. Yeah, I can do well. You... I can do that. Right. That and one troop in Arcadia because I stack them to five. Okay. Game over. Done. Okay. That's okay. what I want. Well, let's um. Yeah. So let's finish up the round. Okay. All right. So. Okay. This is it. Now we get to do, so I'll do projects. Mm -hmm. uh, both of mine come into play. They're worth okay. seven prestige. So it brings me to 10 in total. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, oh, I don't have any projects. You don't have any <laughs> uh, Food. So I got to pay food. Uh huh. So I'm going to pay all of my food. Seven food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should have gone to, um, I should have done my thing in Athena just mm. to get one food. Well, let's pretend you did. Can I pretend we did? Yeah, okay. we'll pretend. Because I'll get one that. food and then do this. Because I was thinking I could just use my prestige point, but I'd like to end the game with with at least one with point. With one prestige point, at least. <laughs> uh, if we had extra food, we could do growth now. Uh, make a lopolis bonus, which we don't yes. have. Uh, end, end of, of game. game. So a game ends when any of the following conditions met. So uh, we made we it to made the it, end, which is good. Yeah. And now it's just a matter of end game points. Yes. So we take our prestige that we earned. Mm -hmm. Any end game prestige. Which I have two. Oh, you do? I do. Well, see, so you got points anyway. I know, yeah, I wasn't, that wasn't too concerned. And um, we get one point per citizen, I believe, on the... Per uh, population? Per population, okay. yeah. So one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, and I have one. So, <laughs> 17. I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll just... you have the book over there? No, uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I'll just double check that. I, I think it was for citizen, not not, not uh, hoplites in, yeah. in boats. It's for, for your citizens. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, thematically, you can't just have like a bunch of hoplites on the board. You have to yeah, one, have good Yeah, one point per cube. Because this, yeah. this is your population of your, right. in your polis cards. Yeah. So you get points for how many population you actually uh, right. ended up with. So I had 17. That's good. Prestige. Really well. So the Spartans really... Uh, they crushed. They crushed. Yeah, it's all those boat cards we drew. That was a rough, rough that battle. That set me up. It's not good. Let's okay, go talk, let's about talk about it. Let's talk about it, yeah. All right, so there it is. The head, the, the head, fight for hegemony. The, hege the hegemony <laughs> has been complete.
the Spartans reigned victorious. They did, yeah. Historically accurate, mm. I guess, right? Yeah, this is a, this is a very interesting game, let it me is, tell you. It really is. Um, I wasn't really sure what really to expect going into this one. Um, right. Just because it... At first, it just seemed like a like a pieces on a board type thing, right? Where you're just moving cubes like around, like a dude's on a map, kind of yeah, moving people around. It's kind of yeah, in that in that regard, yeah. like like risk almost. You know, where you're yeah. like, all hey, right, I'm gonna just throw a bunch of cubes over here, and I'll move a bunch of cubes right. over there, and then see what happens. But it's a lot more of that. It is. That. This is like it really is more of a euro because everything is resources it's in this tight. game. So yeah. like. It, it, it is area control, obviously, mm -hmm. but it's all resource management. Like Even your population yeah. is their resources. Mm -hmm. So it's all about, like, how do I get these people on the board using other resources? You're, like, turning resources into troops and galleys, mm -hmm. um, you know, which is, it's a, it is kind of like a, it's a brain burner. Yeah. It's a it, lot to think about, and, a lot to plan for. Yeah. And... There is some luck involved. Mm -hmm. For um, sure, for sure. But not to the extent that it ruins the experience at all. I think it's like, no, I, makes it really interesting. Yeah. Every time you play, this thing comes out different. It, it, it really does. Like you you could have a, a killer round yeah. where you're just, everything's firing. Right. You're, you're just, you've got this like engine of resources yeah. that you're just cycling through. Like kind of my last round. Yeah. But you can have a round where you, you, Gamble on a big roll on yeah. a siege, and you, and you fail, it. and then you're out of prestige points. Kind of like my and, last round. And then you're just like, <laughs> "Well, I got to pass. I got. Yeah. No, I can't do anything." Right. And I think that's like the last game we played because we played this several times before mm -hmm. taking it to the table, especially because this is unlike a lot of other. Yeah, stuff this is very different for so, us. Um, the one of the times that we had played, I had taken over this C, mm -hmm. and you were like, "How did you do that?" And I had done it by going up this way trying to block like trade routes but i had gotten galleys into here while you were like focused on something completely different right. and then i ended up getting sicily before you had a chance to come over here and i was like set for food mm -hmm. the entire game. yeah and i was struggling and for he's food. Just struggling so um i mean obviously i think yeah sicily you... is great for food like it's yeah. the best food production on the map it really is obviously mm -hmm. but and i think that and that's wine. yeah but that's the really neat thing about this game is that i feel like especially it's, it's made for only two people mm -hmm. so you're playing two and only two um and the if you're playing with the same person over and over and over i feel like this game just gets better and better yeah because you learn the strategies as you're the more times you play you kind of like get what the strategies are mm -hmm. um, or at least what strategies your opponent's going to be trying. Um, and it's funny because for as many games as we play, um, I'm usually like out to kind of just like figure out, okay, what's the strategy for the game? Or like we're having fun with it or whatever. This is, this is, I, I want to say the first time in a, in a while that I felt really exploratory mm -hmm. in like, how am I going to make this work? Yeah. Um, in a in a very in a fun way, it's a very different kind of fun. Yeah, this so it was, game. It was. I, I just I really really enjoyed it. It will um, it will almost cripple you sometimes with AP. Yeah, it will. Um, and that's it, it, I, I literally like when we first started and learned this and played it for the first time. Like the two of us, like sat there for twenty minutes. Right. Thinking about how do we even begin? And that's after we had it set up like on our other upstairs game table, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? For like a whole day. And we just like kind of pass by the game. So we just stare at the board. <laughs> and <laughs> I think, think about like what it took is... like hours yeah. for us to even like think about our first moves. Cause we, we both like read through the rules mm -hmm. um, and tried to figure out like, okay, what's the strategy before we sat down and, and played. Um, I think we ended up just kind of sitting down and doing stuff because yeah. there's so many actions you can do. And there's no like there's no combat in the first era, right? right the first round. Right. And you saw that's a huge way to get victory points or mm -hmm. those prestige points. But you only have two yeah. to start with. So right. there's only you can only get them by taking over a polis, mm -hmm. which in some instances is a gamble. Is most instances Well, is a with, unless you get the Proxima. Like you can earn some silver and then you can buy some of the cheap ones. Right. But, but even with the twos, it's a 50-50 shot. 
No, you just pay four silver and you well, get Well, I'm it. talking about oh, yeah, with the Oh, yeah, with the dice? Yeah, with know? the dice. Yeah, the siege is, is just pure luck. Right. You're you're Because you don't have the ability to right. sit there and re-roll because it costs you yeah. a prestige point every time you try to see well, I think I like I got cocky the first time we played because mm-hmm. I think I ended up I was like oh yeah I'll siege you know Beosha or right. whatever it was and I like got it and I was like oh pff, easy peasy yeah, it's this not, game, no. but it is definitely not yeah you I, like so. I think one on one game I opened up with trying to get like Arcadia and yes, I failed yeah. Right, and, and I was out of prestige points for the first round. Yeah. Nothing else I could do. Actually, I think that was that was the game that I got that this you C took Sicily. Yeah, one turn, like one one turn. bad turn ruined my whole game. Yeah. So this is a punishing game. If you're not making smart decisions, uh-huh. or if you gamble, be prepared to to face the consequences of that. Yeah. Now, one thing I did like with the sieges is, is that in this. Um, in the, this reprint, you are mm-hmm. able to put the siege tokens. Uh, we've never played the original version, right? Um, but it appears from our research. From what we've read, yeah. It was like a house rule, rule yeah. Kind of you, you were, it um, wasn't as punishing. But thematically, I like that because it's kind of like you're wearing them down over mm-hmm. time in a way. And it mitigates the the bad rolls, yes. so that you actually have an opportunity to get it. have a chance of yeah. getting. Because if you sit there and you're stuck on a on a polis. For turn after turn mm-hmm. after turn, that could literally lose the game for you. Right. So yeah. it's really, really interesting game. So if you're into this sort of like really crunchy right. strategy balancing act, and it's it's very economical because right. you you have to manage so many moving parts mm-hmm. economically. Yeah. And and if you in your first instinct is let me just soak up as many polis <laughs> as I can. Right. You are going to pay for it right. because you cannot feed these people. But yeah. you got to also be ready to, to bail on them at a given and notice. That's, and that's strategy, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't my strategy this game, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was really just taking pulses because I needed victory points yeah. most of the game. But um, but it, it can be a good idea to, like, siege a polis to get some points and then be like write them off because mm-hmm. you don't really care to feed them. And then go, you know, use those. You're just doing it to get points. Um, points and hoplites you could just hoplite, siege exactly. it grab the people make them yeah, into grab, soldiers exactly. and then walk and away and then walk away so just highly highly thematic yeah really neat and um and a lot it was from like an expectation standpoint mm-hmm. way exceeded my expectations yeah this is definitely way better than i thought it was going to be like even after like reading the rules and all that stuff i was kind of like is this going to be something i'm going to get into yeah um we like these two-player games and we like these struggle games so i I don't know why i was thinking i was a little bit apprehensive about it um but i was absolutely it certainly opened us up to a new a new type of game yeah for sure and and, and we definitely appreciate that yeah and and the components are like everything's like double layered so Mm -hmm. the cubes fit into all these slots which is beautiful right um it is a table eater Mm -hmm. It is, as you can see. <laughs> but it's, but I think it's beautiful. Like it's a beautiful yeah. game to look at. It's got nice components. It's a really quality uh, yeah. remake, and I even think even the art and everything, I think, is yeah. a lot. Um, We've seen calmer than images that. of the original yeah. version. And this one, hands exactly. down, is yeah. so much better. Yeah. Um, they didn't have zero slots values on the original. Right. So you actually had to cover up the number, and whatever number you covered was the value, which is to me is a pain in the butt. Mm-hmm. Um, but so this is much better. Right. Um. It just makes more sense, right? Yeah, I um, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, no, no, it's, it's uh, I, I did if as well. Anything else? Surpri- we I, surprisingly, um, really, really like this one too. It's 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 definitely a brain burner. It is more so than I I could have imagined. And I mean, you probably know by watching the video if this is for you or not. Yeah. I would say from an, like kind of an audience standpoint. Um, I would I would say that you know don't be turned off by the area control bit mm-hmm. because area control really isn't it, it, even though it's a map it's not really the main mechanic I don't think but I think it really it, but think about it you were focusing on controlling the seas well, that's, that's all area control right it is no it definitely is so okay so there is a there is a component there yeah but what you did was really maximize the resources. And from a land standpoint, yeah. it's not about expand; it's about 
exploit, exploit. in a tiny area. Actually, this is kind of like a 4X kind almost. Of. Yeah. But Except we, we, we're not exploring because we already see we the already whole know, map. We know but, everything. But yeah. I think, I think that's, I mean, what that ex expresses is that there are a lot of ways. Right. To crack this nut, like yeah. you can, you could probably use multiple different strategies here. Yeah, for one sure. where you're trying to block off areas and, yeah. and own certain things, and others where you're just really kind of turtling up and and just resource gathering, right? Um, and and building a fortified army in one right. space, yeah. right? And then just trading markets. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of ways you can do this, and I think it really is going to benefit the one who's the most economical and smart with their right. with, with how they utilize and stretch your thin resources and yeah. while always keeping in mind like you've got to feed these people exactly wow, yeah. which is really cool so yeah it's really it's awesome. but it is a tough one so it's, don't <laughs> don't expect to walk in on this and be like yeah we'll figure this out i read right. this rule book like 10 times and oh I'm still i know like, yeah i think we both did yeah. and then uh, and i don't think there's two there's not many videos out on it i know i watched one in spanish from devere yeah. <laughs> um he watched one of the older version of the game i watched one from like four years ago and then we kind of like, like compared whoa. notes when we got you get, together yeah because i just couldn't wrap my head around some of the concepts yeah um until you know some things i need to watch and that's why that's why these playthrough videos are so valuable yeah um and that's why we still keep this format as our primary right exactly. because i think the value the value in sort of a tutorial is great mm -hmm. But I think the value in watching somebody actually play the game and have an experience with it, and have experience with yeah. it, um, really. And I, and I always wonder why people look at our game, our, our channel to, to learn how to play these types mm -hmm. of games. But I get it because yeah. there's certain games that we have to do the same thing for, right. and the value there is 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 you know priceless. Yeah, it, it just makes it so much easier. Right. Um, but that's all I have yeah, to say about I think it. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, hopefully it's helpful. yeah, hopefully it's helpful. <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm sure we had terrible strategies because oh, yeah. we <laughs> haven't really figured this one out yeah. strategy wise. Right. Um, but hopefully you're yet. sitting there going, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Yeah. And then, you know, you can go out and get it and try it for yourself. And try it for yourself. Stuff. Like if this is something that, that you're into and I don't think yeah. it, it's, it's, there's some take that obviously because you have to. It's a two-player game. Like yeah. You're going to get that in any two-player game. Right. There's going to be a lot of back and but forth. It, but you get something out of it. So I'm saying like it's it's take yeah, the that combat, in the combat, you, you actually want to but fight. But you actually want to fight. Yeah. And I like games that, you know, you if it's if it has to happen, you mm -hmm. know, it has to happen. It's, yeah. it's good. So You just don't actually, want them sieging your poluses. That's all. But, but at the end of the day, they can. You just go take another one. Exactly. Like whatever. You can take it back. Yeah. Or you can take it back. Yeah. Or you can buy it back. Right. At three times the price. <laughs> all, right. So, all right. So we... I think that's uh, hope we've you enjoyed. Enough. Yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for um, watching. And before you go, oh yes, if you really love this video and you have not already subscribed <laughs> to our channel, please make subscribe. sure you hit that subscribe button. This is a, a new thing we're doing. So yes, um, yeah, do make sure you subscribe. We don't, you know, that's the only way we kind of know that people are watching. Um, with the exception of YouTube analytics, but uh, right. we like to interact with you guys. So uh, leave comments below. Let us know what you think. Subscribe. Uh, hit the bell so you know when we come out with new content. All right. That's it. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.